everyone, thanks so much for being here. My name is Kat and I make houseplant videos here on Good and Planty. Welcome back to the second ever Soothing Sunday. That means I've been on YouTube for about a month now, which is crazy. I feel like I just uploaded my houseplant tour two seconds ago. If you're new to Soothing Sunday, welcome. It's a monthly series that I do where I can just kind of do whatever I want once a month and not really worry about being super informational and just kind of show you what's going on with my plants and be super casual. So that's what we're doing today. Last Soothing Sunday, I kind of did a typical maintenance day for myself. And instead of just running you through that every single time, I figured today we can do some repotting and I can share a little bit about myself uh, and my journey with plants. And so you can know me a little bit better. And then I do have some just quick houseplant maintenance I can run you through and show you a couple plant updates that I'm excited about. Today, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a longer video for sure. I have been kind of hesitating to do a longer video because I think that I just have this idea that nobody's gonna wanna watch one, but I kind of realized that I really like watching longer videos and I figured I would just give it a try, see kind of how you guys respond to it and you can let me know if you love it or hate it. So, <laughs> kind of the plan for today. Ooh, I'm sweating. I had to turn off my AC to film these things, so sorry if I'm glowing sometimes. <laughs> As I said, we're going to start with a lot of repotting. I don't really have any like questions or a tag started. I'm just going to kind of come up with my own questions and answer them while I'm repotting a bunch of plants. All of these plants, for the most part, you've seen me buy. I'm not going to lie to you. Some of them have not been acclimated for two weeks. <laughs> so, I don't know. Bad cat. Um, we're going to repot them anyway because I'm impatient and annoying. Let's just get started, I guess. I have these here to look nice, but I'm gonna move them now so that I actually have room to do things. I took a little clip of like what my setup looks like because I find that's kind of helpful, at least for me, to understand how people kind of set up their repotting and because sometimes I watch people and I'm like, how, where is this coming from? How organized are you? How disorganized are you? So I showed you exactly what it looks like right now with me repotting. I don't know. Oh God, so many plants. I don't even, I'm not gonna tell you so you guys don't get scared and click off. So what are we gonna do first? You know what I forgot? I forgot to get a pot to collect the bad soil. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm actually adding a second like empty pot here so that I can kind of unpot a plant in it, let the soil spill in there, and then repot it in its new home. So I guess I'm starting with this Raven's Easy. I keep touching it, so I clearly want to do it. Oh, but before I do that, yeah, I killed the Fetonia that I just hauled and was going to repot today. And on my Instagram, sometimes I'm like, look at this sad plant. No worries, you just have to water it and then wait for it and it springs back to life. But that's just a dead Petonia. <laughs> my life has been so crazy lately that, you know what, I can't blame myself that I killed the plant, you know? I do definitely have to clean these leaves, but I'm going to do that after I read I'm already making a huge mess. Okay, ooh, we got nice roots, guys. So let's talk a little bit about me. Who am I? What do I do when I'm not on YouTube? Why do I do YouTube? Why do I have over 70 plants? Let's find out. So my name is Kat, duh. And I guess I'll start with, why do I have so many plants? How did this collection begin? Why do I do it? Why am I obsessed? Well, I got my first plant. I don't know. I've always had like a couple plants around because I am very like into nature, I guess. It makes me really happy. I grew up in a very nature forward place in New York. Obviously when I moved to the city, I had less nature. So I had a couple plants from home with me and those were mostly succulents and cacti. 
So I kind of brought them around with me through college, dorm to dorm, apart to apartment. And then one day at Trader Joe's, I was like, you know what? Honestly, I think a foliage plant would look kind of nice. And I got it. And I won't lie to you guys, I got it when I was at kind of like a lower point in my life. I wanted something to take care of, I guess. And so I brought my Diffenbacher Camille, which is a mess now, but you know what? It made me really happy back then. I brought it home with me and I was really happy with it. I thought it looked super cute in my apartment. And then I ended up shortly after getting the bird's nest fern, which is also a hot mess. But again, it made me really happy in that moment. And those were the two first foliage plants that I brought home with me. It kind of just grew from there. I like followed one plant Instagram account and I was like, whoa, there's so many cool plants out there. Like I kind of need them all. Then I got the Calathea ornata, which I killed and a couple other plants. And then as they started to decline, I was like, you know what? I should probably read about the plants that I'm getting and figure out how to better take care of them so that they actually look nice in my home. And then I found creators, I found houseplant YouTube. That's kind of how I ended up collecting houseplants as many other people, you know, I got one became obsessed and now I have over 70 and now I have a YouTube channel for them. I didn't study botany or anything crazy which is why I don't feel super qualified to talk a lot about like the scientific aspects of these things. I use my channel simply to share what works for me and I try to spread my little love for houseplants to other people so that's the intention of this channel as well. I also really like houseplants because I was thinking about this recently with Meek, uh, who is my dog who had ACL surgery. And you know, I was really stressed out and I really didn't have much time to do uh, anything besides working and taking care of him. But I still had to make sure that I had time to take care of my plant collection because at this point it's, I've poured a lot of money and time into it and I obviously don't want it to decline so I have to make time to take care of the house plants and I think that's another thing that I really like about plants is it's a hobby that I can't just put on the back burner and get back to when the time is right for me which is would be never uh, it's a hobby that I have to stay on top of I have to put my plants not first but up there in the list of priorities and even though I might lose one or two when I get really busy like the Fatoni in general, I do have to make sure I'm here for them. So, and and they're also really great with giving me a little bit of leeway. So that's why I love houseplants so much. All right, next. Ooh, next I'm gonna mix the two Scandapsis pictus plants that I have, cause I'm excited about that. I have both of them in four inch pots, so I'm hoping that they fit in the six inch pot once I kind of like take them apart a little bit. We'll see. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about if you didn't watch my haul, which you should. So basically, I have this Scandapsis pictus here, which is I've had for quite a while. It was doing really well for a long time, but I don't know why this plant was dropped like 50,000 times. And at some point it took a beating and And at some point it kind of just started declining and I can't really blame it. So then I got this one and I'm gonna mix them up and kind of, as I said before, breathe new life into this declining one. And I am a little sad because I know that Scandapsis don't like to have their roots disturbed that much, but it is what it is, buddy, you know? Sorry, how should I do this? Should I put this in first and then do that? Probably, right? The roots are like, eh. I don't know. This is okay, I guess. Like, some of these don't even have roots. Okay, I'm gonna put this there, actually, because those are not as well-developed as I was hoping. I should do this guy. I think that the roots got stuck to the terracotta. Okay, so I have this. Ah, this will be fun to clean. I kind of want to spread the good long pieces like around the pot so that when I add these cuttings in, it'll be a little even. I should have taken like a before and after 
That would have been kind of cool. Honestly, I'm gonna do an annoying thing for myself and plug these up one by one so that I can kind of have control over what this looks like. So while I'm doing this bit, what's something else I can talk about myself with? I guess I'm usually curious about what people I watch do when they're not on YouTube. Like what is their job if it's not YouTube? I guess I'll share a little bit about that. I don't know if you care, but I do work in digital marketing. I'm a digital marketing associate. That background does help me run a YouTube channel a little bit because I am kind of familiar with some of the practices that are necessary to do good on YouTube. Um, not saying I'm gonna become famous. I would love that though. You know what? I'm gonna manifest it. I will be a full-time housewife YouTuber. For now, I am a digital marketing associate. I will also tell you not related to plants is my meek update. If you are new to me, first of all, I'm impressed that you're watching this much of me talking if you're new to me, but meek is my puppy who had ACL surgery and he is doing really good. He had his little vet visit. The vet said he's doing amazing. He can now go on unassisted walks, but we still have to carry him downstairs. And he's still in his crate, but he's cone free. So I'm really happy. I was kind of a little bit worried about this situation because he is a very unpredictable, large dog. So it's wonderful news that he's doing better and I'm so happy. I'm gonna finish up this plant and then we will talk, we will get all back to plants with the, with the next repotting. Ta-da! Wait, you can't see it. Ta-da! Now I have an actual happy bushy Scandapsis pictus silvery and I think it looks pretty good. It's a little leggy. I have cut it back a couple times. I'm just gonna let it do its thing for a little bit because I kind of messed with it. But I think it looks so much better now that it has like pretty full foliage up top. There is plenty of new opportunity for vining. I am very pleased with this and I'm happy that I stuck with my idea. So there you go. If you have a plant that's struggling a little bit and you're frustrated because you're too impatient to propagate, totally understand. Buy a second one, pot them together and it'll give the illusion that you went ahead and just fixed everything right then and there. <laughs> What's another good one to do? Let's do one of the mini ones. I have this uh, Schifflera arboricola and it's in this two inch pot. I'm gonna put it in three inch pot because I probably could do four inches, but I don't know. I could probably fly through these little smaller pots pretty quickly. So hopefully that speeds things up a little bit. I know I said I wanted to do a longer video, but I was just getting nervous when the clock starts ticking. Oh my God, it's really stuck. Ooh, that's cute. Let me try to get it to focus. Okay, it won't, that's fine. Looking good. So let's talk a little bit more about plants and what's about me. I guess I'll quickly share with you guys like what are some of my favorite plants right now? Is that a good thing to talk about? I'm really feeling my, what plant am I feeling? My micans. Oh my god you guys, I'm really feeling my micans. I was super happy to buy it because it was really full. I bought it from Urban Jungle here in Philly from uh, where Nick works. It was really full, it was really happy, but it was like super, super root bound. I'll see if I can insert a picture. I was like, okay, I need to repot this, but I kind of want to put it on a pole. So I made my own pole and now I think I'm like better equipped to make a better moss pole. But at the time I was still new to the concept of making my own moss pole. So I kind of made a questionable moss pole and I wrapped it up around it. The moss pole was not stable in the pot, so it was crooked and I was like not feeling the situation at all. But I kind of stuck with it and now that the pole is filling out and the ugliness of it is getting covered, I'm actually kind of happy with it and the leaves are so big up top. I'm very, very excited about it. That's a, definitely a plant I'm feeling. Another one is my Monstera. That thing is exploding all over the place. Every time I watch a Monstera video, it's like, be careful, it's gonna get huge. So just be ready for that. It's gonna get ginormous. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I want it. 
But now I have a giant Monstera on my desk and it's not the biggest Monstera ever, but for my apartment, it's big, you guys. This is cute. I like this. So that's another one that I'm really feeling, but like, let's be honest, it's kind of eating my entire room up. Let's do this little Pepperomia Peppermill. I incorrectly ID'd it. I had already exported the video when I realized that I mis ID'd it. So I had to go back in and edit the name and do a little voiceover for you guys. So I am dedicated to giving you as correct information as I can. I can't promise you it's always going to be perfect, but I really try. I don't know what else to say about myself. I don't know. I do hope this channel, like, I'm kind of impressed with how this channel is doing. I'm feeling kind of good about it. I won't lie, I hope it continues to grow. I do try to put in a decent amount of work into this channel. And I mean, I, I get the humble YouTubers that are like, I started this channel and I didn't even think it was gonna blow up, but I kind of want it to blow up. Sorry. Really appreciate everyone that subscribed and everyone that comments on my videos pretty consistently. It helps so much and it makes me feel really good. I appreciate the people that reach out to tell me that they enjoy what I'm putting out. Thank you guys for supporting my baby channel. I really appreciate it and this is me in real life saying that it makes me feel really good and happy so thank you. Because these videos are really fun to make like I genuinely enjoy doing them but obviously it does take time and I want, I want it to do good. So I don't think that's really anything bad. I don't know. And another one done. I think this one looks cute too. I'll do the confetti. This one was a great find. This one was great. Look at this. That's nice. Do you guys prefer to buy one expensive plant or do a little splurge and buy like a couple plants? What do you guys like to do? Let me know. Let me know how you guys are doing. Everything's so crazy right now. You know what, scratch that. Just let me know how you're doing. Are you guys hanging in there all right? Let's like talk, you know? Ooh. Yes, okay, great. Yeah, let me know how you guys are doing because things are crazy and even though I'm small, I have a very small platform, I kind of want to talk to you guys that are watching my videos because that's the whole point of social media, huh? It's social. You can always DM me on Instagram too if you want to chat about plant things or not plant things. I'm open to that. Ta-da! Another one down. I don't really know what else to tell you guys about me. I'm not really all that interesting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like repot some plants. I'll show you what I'm repotting. Uh, for the rest of my repotting session. I'm gonna repot this raff right here that I got from the haul, this watermelon peperomia that I got from El Exotics, this purple passion from a recent haul, this cutting, this tray scanty, ooh, the string of pearls cutting fell into the water a little. The roots are clearly doing really well, so I'm gonna put it in a little tiny pot. Oh, and then I have this maranta right here. That I'm gonna repot into a four inch pot. So I have a couple plants left. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then I'll check in with you guys afterwards so that you guys don't get too bored with me talking about myself. Hang tight, I'll be done soon and then we can do something else plenty. Okay, so we finally finished all our repotting. Let me show you a little bit um, of what I did. So the berry illusion. Raven Zizi you saw, Skindapsis you saw. I threw in this guy because I wasn't a fan of how he was potted in his nursery pot and I've had him for a decent amount of time now so I think he was good to go for a new home and his root system was looking really good so I'm super happy with that. This raff right here, first of all I have this weird like stuff growing on it and I reached out to the shop to be like, hey, what's going on here? Can you give me some help? And they haven't answered me, so that's lovely. But I did repot it anyway, and I tried to move it. So these guys like to trail, um, so I tried to repot it mostly to the left to give it more room on the right to trail, and then hopefully it'll go up my wall or something eventually. Okay, and then my little tiny plants came out well 
tiny plant, tiny plant, extra tiny plant that I'm going to try to keep a little wet for the next couple days because it is transferring from water. Tiny plant that you saw, watermelon peperomia, got a four inch pot. Um, the leaves are a little bit damaged, which I'm not crazy about, like there's this and this, but what is cool is I love seeing the leaf or like where it was propagated from. So this is the mama plant leaf and I love being able to see that. I think it's so cool to see how big the mama plant is and hopefully I'll have leaves that big one day. So that was the watermelon pepperonia. The Maranta got a new home, looking good in the four inch. Sorry, there's an airplane. Uh, dead Fetonia is still hanging out. I watered it like in the small hope it'll come back, but it's, he's donezo. Should I like cut it down and see if it grows back? I don't know, this is gonna turn into an experiment. Okay, so basically all of these were like easy peasy, looking good, happy, happy. And then I did all these and I was like, there is enough soil and time for one more plant. So I went ahead and I got this Aglionema from downstairs and it turned into a whole thing. I figured it was time to repot it because I could see the roots growing out of the bottom. And then once in a while, I do get one of the older leaves dying out like this. And which is strange because all in all, I could see the roots coming out of the bottom and the roots were happy. And I even get some flowers, like where's the flower? I even have flowers coming out. So like, I know that this plant is fairly happy. I have new growth. So why are the older leaves like dying off like that? So I figured it was time to put them in a new pot. So I got this pot, which is the same size, but a little deeper. And then as I'm pulling him out to go ahead and move him, I find out that these, there are basically three individual plants in here. The last one's a stump and all three of those plants were root bound in smaller nursery pots. So I think what happened is that when I repotted it originally, it was in a nursery pot, but then each one of those, these individual plants were also in a tiny little pot that I overlooked when I repotted it. And then it completely was getting suffocated by those mini pots. And yeah, so it was declining and rightfully so. So I was right, it was root bound and outgrowing its pot, but I was completely wrong on which pot it was. That's the end of repotting. Let me put this camera down and I'll check in with you guys in a second. It's not officially done until I have dinosaurs in my pots. So that one will go in there and then this one will go back in here. Okay, so I just put back some of the plants I repotted, but I left out a few because a couple of them need a little extra love. Um, I definitely have a couple that need a good leaf wipe down and <laughs> a ZZ Raven. So I'm gonna take care of that and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. And then I also have to play around with organizing some of these plants because now they're in bigger pot sizes and don't fit where they used to. Basically what I'm now gonna do is take plants that look kind of like this. This is probably the worst one but these are hard mineral buildup spots. Uh, and it's kind of important to clean these off because you want the leaf to be able to soak in as much sun as possible. So when there is dirt and grime and spots on it, it does make it a little bit harder for the plant. And also it just looks better. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this plant. I have my spray bottle here. And what I put in here is distilled water to avoid additional water buildup. Uh, well, mineral water buildup, you get what I'm saying. Um, I have two sprays of neem oil in here and then a little bit of dish soap to work through the grime. So I'm just gonna spray all of the leaves and one by one gently clean them up with little cotton pads.
So I just got finished cleaning this Raven ZZ and it looks so much better. It's shiny, it's happy. Um, it could probably use one more session to get really like the nitty gritty stuff towards the middle here. But overall, I think it looks way, way, way better. I love it. I ended up switching over to this rag. Um, it's not microfiber, but these are hardier, waxier leaves that can take it. The other plants that I'm cleaning today, I'm gonna continue using the cotton rounds with, but ah, this looks so, so much better. I'm so happy. Okay, and these are looking so much better, just like the Raven's Easy. There we go, super happy. Again, they could maybe use a little second once over, but all in all, I think they look great. Way better than before, and now they can soak up even more sun. Okay, so I did, besides watering, I think I did like the big meaty stuff so i think my next step is to kind of figure out how i'm going to reorganize my rooms to accommodate my new plants and the new pot sizes you can get an idea of how i'm mentally working through having so many plants and no space <laughs> figured out pretty much all of the plants except for these two which is kind of funny because both of them are low light tolerant ish but I just can't find a good place for them and this one just took a tumble so I think it's a sign that I need to take a break and eat and I'll come back and put these away and then do my little watering routine and that'll be it for this video eating I feel a lot better about everything um, I think I found spots for all of the plants except for one which is the lemon lime philodendron but that's okay I'm just gonna keep it on my desk I have a place to hang it the thing is that I have to make the macrame hanger so I'm not in the mood to do that right now so I'm just gonna hang out I think I'm just gonna you know water my plants take you along show you any cool plant updates I have, and then I will wrap up the video. This is one of my new leaves. I'm so happy. I think that the size is a good sign. Um, it's pretty big. It did take a minute to come out, but now that it's here, it looks wonderful. I lost a leaf in its place, but that's okay. Um, that happens. And I do think I see a little baby growth coming through. So I think this guy, although is a little bit troublesome, at least to me, is doing pretty well.
excited about is my Peperomia, uh, what is it? Pink Marble or something? Um, it is doing so well. I'm getting so much new growth. It's beautiful. Maybe this is better. Oh, yeah. Look at this. What? I'll put in a picture of what it used to look like when I just got it very, very recently. And it's just doing beautifully. I'm so happy. It's in south facing window, which I think typically would be a lot for a peperomia, but I really wanted to bring this variegation out because there was no pink in it when I got it. And it's working! It looks so good! Another plant that, oops, sorry, it's shaking. Another plant that has absolutely caught my eye recently in my collection is this Peperomia Frost. I just like love this plant, I always have, but the leaves are starting to get bigger online and I'm so excited. And it popped out a cute little flower for me. So I'm super happy. It means it's happy. I do have some crisping right there i think it's a fertilizing thing so i actually am skipping fertilizing for this week just in case see my plants a little break but yeah pepperoni frost doing really well Okay, so that's gonna be it for this month's Soothing Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned a little bit about me, who you're watching. Um, I really appreciate you guys coming along. And if you're watching this outro, an extra thank you to you. Um, please like this video, subscribe, all of that lovely stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.